my god. What's up guys? It's your boy Philly. Man, something I want to talk about, man. Timing, timing is everything in life. You know, timing, right? There is no past, there is no future, only now. You know, I've heard that said before, and I was just like, what are you talking about, man? There is a past, you know? It's a time that has already passed. You have memories of it. You know, of course, right? But all that really matters is now. I mean, just two minutes ago, before I turned on the camera, right, I was stuck behind these two slow as fuck cars, right? And, you know, I put up with it, right? Because I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not the only person on the road. I've got I to gotta put up with that. But it's when this bomby ass piece of shit ute starts dropping dirt and rocks and pebbles and shit from its tray and it's smacking me in the face that I draw the fucking line and I was like, nah, I'm done, right? I dropped it down two gears and I, and I break out. As I do, there's a cop coming just around the corner the other way, flashing his headlights at me back into my lane, you know, I, I might have been a little bit over the speed limit, right? But, you know, it was safe, my manoeuvre, it probably didn't look real safe from the uh, cop's perspective when he came round. I checked my side mirror, man, he kept going, but it's just like, fuck, man, like, I've been behind that ute for like 10 minutes, man. It's slow as shit, doing like 20 below the limit. You know, once I take, take, make my move to overtake, that's what happens. Timing, man. Timing can be your best friend or your worst enemy, hey. Once again, man, <laughs> look at this shit. 65 in an 80 zone. Kia Serato, what the fuck, mate? What are you doing? What is going through your head right now? Oh, now he puts his foot down. Okay, shit, maybe we were in a 60 zone back there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, man, I usually vlog when I'm like really excited about something, you know, so I'm like, what's up boys and girls, I gotta tell you my story, but I'm not really, I'm not like that excited right now, I just thought I'd come for a ride and go hit the mountain, and I thought I'd bring it with me, why not, I haven't done a vlog in a while, so here we are on this beautiful afternoon, so I guess what I was saying about timing it's like, okay, so where you are now, right, just ask yourself a question, right? Are you happy with what you've achieved in the last five years, right? Like, it's, it's a bit hard when you're growing up, you know, you're a teenager or whatever, because you haven't got a lot of choice, you know, you just kind of go to school and that's it. But if you're, if you're you know, middle-aged or, you know, mid-twenties, whatever, are you, are you happy with what you've achieved in the last five years? Because... Let me tell you something, you know, great if you are, if you're completely happy, but if you're in the, in, if you're in roughly the same spot that you were five years ago, nothing's really changed, well then, I've got news for you, in five years time you're going to be in the exact same spot. Simple as that. I'm starting to realise, like, if you want things to change in your life and get better, you have to take... You have to make like a serious action to change that. You know, you can't just coast along and go, yeah, things will get better in a year or two. Because they won't, I'm telling you now, they just will not. Unless you get lucky somehow, but you know, you just, 99% of us, you, you gotta take decisive action to make a change in your life. But enough of that bullshit. I don't know, man. Sometimes I just feel like coming out and hitting the mountain, you know. I want to free my mind. And I don't really want anything else going through my head apart from concentrating on the bend. That's all I want. Does anyone else get that, man? You get to a point where you just, like, you want to lean more. You know you, you know you can do it, man. You're not putting weight on the hangers. Like, and you, and you do it, and all of a sudden the bike just goes like, ugh, oh, like, do you, do you get that, man? Is that just me? It happens, like, almost every fucking time. I don't know what it is, man. I gotta go do, like, a... You know what I need to do, man? I need to go hit a track and do, like, a course or something on, like, advanced leaning or something. I don't know. I need to do something to change my future. <laughs> I need to do something to get better at this, because, you know, I, like, I've never, 
I've never dropped the bike, you know, doing like testing my uh, my skill, if you like. But I feel like I've come close. I've dropped the bike once, but that wasn't really that kind of situation. Like I'm not leaning on the hangers, man. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. See, that was alright, man. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. I just feel that I can do better, you know? But I also feel that if I try to do better, you know, this this isn't really the place for it, you know? There's other motors around on the road. It's not... It's not, it's not the place for it, man. If I, if I push it and I low side, especially on like a left-hander like that, SOP G, you know, I could, I could slide right under an oncoming car, man. That's some dangerous shit. You gotta remember this stuff, man. You gotta remember it. It's feeling good, man. It's feeling real good. I just think, I just feel like I haven't hit my potential, man. Like I'm nowhere near my potential. What do you guys think, man? I, I've only been riding a couple of years, man. You know, real skill, man. That old veteran rider skill. That takes, that takes some serious time, man. And some serious balls too, man. You gotta, you know, you gotta risk it if you wanna make it. Simple as that. 